Hi everyone, I'm Jeff from Ion Software. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the Z to World Position tool, which is one of the trio of position tools in Fusion. Let's begin. Imagine this scenario. You have a 3D animation and the only elements available to you were the RGBA beauty render, the camera data, and the Z channel render. So now your client requires additional compositing that can take advantage of Fusion's other world position tools like volume masking or volume fog. Don't despair, Fusion has the Z to World Position tool. Here's how it works. The first step is to take Z data and embed it in the image. The steps to do this are done through Fusion's flexible channel boolean tool. Take your RGBA Beauty Pass render and connect it to the background input of the channel boolean tool. Now take your Z channel image and connect it into the foreground. Just for your own sanity, you'll probably want to view the Z channel by clicking the Normalize button in the viewer, just to make sure it's correct. Now you can start setting the color channels. Set the red, green, and blue channels to do nothing, as those channels are from the beauty pass, and they can remain as rendered. But now you'll activate the auxiliary channels. The first item in the list is the Z buffer. You can choose red, green, or blue from the foreground input and assign it to the Z buffer. The channel color really doesn't matter. I chose red because it happens to be the first in the drop-down list. Next, add the Z to World Position tool. You'll find it under Fusion's Tools drop-down menu under the Position Tools category. This is where all the serious math takes place. The channel boolean needs to be connected to the Z to World Position Tools background input. That's only half the solution to creating our world pass output. The next connection required is a 3D camera with the camera position data generated from the 3D software package of your choice. The data can be accessed through a couple of different methods importing specific 3D camera data from a 3D scene, such as an FBX, or direct data ingest from Fusion's 3D camera tool. Either way, you'll need to connect the camera to the 3D camera input. If you use FBX to import the camera data, you'll end up with a 3D merge in your comp attached to the camera. You don't need the 3D merge, so just delete it. In the Z to World Position tool, you have two choices for the actual function of the tool. The Z to World tab will generate a World Position Pass output derived from the Z information, and the World Position to Z will generate a Z channel derived from the World Position information. We'll discuss this option in another tutorial. The drop down menu allows you to choose the correct camera needed to evaluate the image if multiple 3D cameras are available in the connected scene input. At this point, if you load the Z to World Position tool into your viewer, you won't see the final result because the Z to World Position tool has not generated any viewable image. To see the World Position Pass, just add a channel boolean to the output of the Z to World Position tool. You'll need to branch into the channel boolean's background and foreground inputs. This is because the channel boolean requires a background input to activate it, and the foreground is specifically used to assign the operation. So now, we'll assign our X, Y, and Z positions from the foreground inputs. Assign X position to red, Y position to green, and finally, Z position to blue. When you view the output of the channel boolean tool, you'll see the world position pass derived from the Z channel and 3D camera data. You can now use Fusion's other position tools like volume mask and volume fog to create volumetric effects. For additional information, see ION's tutorials on Fusion's other position tools. As always, for more information on the Z to World Position tool, consult ION's VFXpedia site at vfxpedia.com. Thank you for watching this short presentation, and we'll be comping with you and Fusion next time.